A huge show of support for the family of a Ferguson police officer who, as of today, has been in the ICU for exactly two months. Through GoFundMe, more than $164,000 has been raised for Travis Brown, who's now battling a brain injury after he was knocked to the ground by a protester outside of the Ferguson Police Department. Fox 2's Jasmine Huda has an update now on how the officer is doing and tells us about a group of women who have been there for the family since the beginning. Doctors are continuing with tests and other procedures on Ferguson officer Travis Brown. He is still in the ICU and is stable. This week, the Brown family will get a special visit from an organization who is doing everything it can to step in and help. We go immediately when we're called and we stay as long as we need. Sometimes it's an hour, sometimes it's a week, sometimes it's several weeks. Barbara O'Connor isn't a firefighter or police officer, but she is literally a first responder. She's with the St. Louis Police Wives Association. The wives are often the first to arrive at a hospital when an officer is down. She didn't leave us until we were taken to the ICU where Colin was at. Leisha and Steve Ledbetter know firsthand. <laughs> What's going on? In 2022, their son, 25 year old St. Louis Metropolitan Police Officer Colin Ledbetter, was shot twice while on a pursuit. It was at Barnes Jewish Hospital that the Ledbetters met O'Connor and other police wives. They came up in front of us when they first got there and they knelt down with us and just, uh, we prayed a little bit and uh, um, we were, you know, they just were there for us, providing anything we needed at that point. I don't know that we really realized how much that was, but it was it was a lot. Most recently, the wives were called out to the case involving another St. Louis police officer. One who did not survive. We assist both of those families. Um, we were able to assist with the funeral for Officer David Lee, who was unfortunately killed in the line of duty. Um, and then also with Ferguson Officer Travis Brown. Uh, we are helping uh, with providing meals, uh, any, anything the family needs, whether it's school supplies for the children, whether it's uh, clothing, whether it's a phone charger, the small things, the big things, whatever they might be, we do whatever we can to step in and help them. This all hits close to home for Barbara O'Connor. Her own husband, former Arnold police officer Ryan O'Connor, was shot and he nearly died back in 2017. She credits the police wives and backstoppers for the support. Jasmine Huda, Fox 2 News.